to measure purity of a node in decision tree algorithm. Let's understand this with an example. For example, we have one data set in which we have two features F1 and F2. And one target class Y. So F1 contains two categories C1 and C2. F2 contains three categories C3, C4 and C5. While our target variable contains two categories yes and no. So let's start making decision tree with the help of this data set. So for example, I have taken feature F1 and accordingly I have categorized it in C1 and C2. So uh, let's assume that we have six yes and three no in feature F1. That is divided into C1 and C2. For C1, we have three yes and three no. While in C2, we have three yes and zero no. So we can see that C1 requires further splitting as we have yes and no both there in C1 category. While this node doesn't require further, further splitting because whatever it will be, it will always have output yes. So this requires further splitting. So we'll take F2 and we'll further split it. So this node is known as pure node as it doesn't require further splitting. This node is impure node as it requires further splitting. Now let's understand how we'll decide that it is a pure node or impure node. This we have seen visually. Now mathematically, we can understand this with the help of two concepts. First is entropy and second is Guinea impurity. Entropy is given by the formula. Entropy is represented by S to S, which is given by a formula minus P plus log base 2 P plus minus P minus log base 2 P minus, where P plus is the probability of yes in our case and P minus is the probability of no. So for Node C1, S of S is given by minus 3 by 6 log base 2, 3 by 6 minus 3 by 6 log base 2, 3 by 6. This is equals to 1. While for C2, H of S is given by minus 3 by 3 log base 2 3 by 3 minus 0 by 3 log base 2 3, uh, 0 by 3. So this is equals to 0. As we can see that entropy for uh, category C1 that is node this is 1. So it is known as impure node. And if the entropy is zero, that is a pure node. Let's visualize this with the help of graph. So on x-axis, we have probability of either yes or no. And on y-axis, we have entropy. So the graph will be something like this. So at 0.5, we have highest entropy that is 1. And please keep in mind the range of entropy is from 0 to 1. If we have 1, that is an impure node. If we have 0, that is a pure node. The another factor that uh, we can uh, calculate that is any impurity to find out if a node is pure or not. The formula for Guinea impurity is given by 1 minus 
summation of i equals to 1 to n probability square. That can be further uh, opened into summation that is p plus square plus p minus square. For category 1, for category 1, Gini index is given by 1 minus probability of plus class that is 1 is 1 by 2. Probability of no is again 1 by 2. So, this is equal to 0 0.5. While Gini index for category C2 is given by 1 minus 1 plus 0. That is 0. So, if the Guinea impurity is 0, that is a pure node. If the Guinea impurity is 0 0.5, it is a impure node. So, the range of Guinea is given by 0 to 0 0.5. Let's visualize this with the graph. On the same graph, we can make the Guinea impurity. So, this is Guinea impurity. Here, 0 0.5 is the highest value. Thus, if the uh, Guinea impurity is uh, near to 0 0.5, it is an impure node. If it is near to 0, it is a pure node. In this way, we can find out the purity of node with the help of Guinea and entropy.